When you picture a scientist, what do they look like? Take a moment to picture a scientist in your mind. Perhaps they look like someone you saw on a TV show. Or maybe someone from a movie. Now let me introduce you to one of the most well-known scientists of all time, Mary Curie. Does she look like any of the scientists that you pictured? Mary Curie is one of the most famous scientists of all time and a role model for women and girls. Mary Curie was born on the 7th of November 1867 in the country of Poland. After high school, Mary Curie went to a secret school because only boys were allowed to attend university in Poland at the time. Mary Curie and her sister dreamed of attending the Sorbonne University in Paris. Eventually, her dream came true and she moved to Paris with her sister when she was 24 years old. She graduated from university with a degree in physics and earned another degree in mathematics the next year. Mary Curie's husband, Pierre Curie, was also a scientist and they often worked together. Marie and Pierre even won a Nobel Prize together for their achievements, but more on that later. Marie Curie was interested in discoveries made by Wilhelm Röntgen and Henri Becquel. Wilhelm discovered X-rays, and Henri discovered an element called uranium gave off rays. These two scientists' discoveries helped Mary Curie to make her own scientific discoveries. She was studying a material called pitchblende. During her test, Mary Curie realised there must be an element in pitchblende which had not been discovered before. Mary and Puri worked long and hard in the science lab to study pitchblende and discovered two new elements. One of these was named polonium, after Poland, the country where Mary Curie was born. The other element was named radium because it gave off very strong rays. This name also helped Mary Curie to come up with the word radioactivity. In World War I, Mary Curie realised that x-rays could help doctors examine soldiers' injuries, but there just weren't enough x-ray machines to help all the soldiers. To fix this problem, Mary Curie helped to invent x-ray machines that could move to different hospitals and cars. These x-rays were called Petite Curies, which means Little Curies in French. This invention helped to treat over one million soldiers. Mary Curie won many awards for her amazing achievements. She was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize in 1903 with her husband. She won this for her work in physics. She was the first person ever and the only woman to win a Nobel Prize twice. This was in 1911 for her work in chemistry. Mary Curie died in 1934 from radiation exposure because of her work with radiation and x-rays. She was not only an amazing scientist, but one of the first women to be recognised for her amazing scientific achievements.